surprised you're still here. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One night stands don't usually stick around. <laughs> well, it meant something to me, Selena. I thought... Oh, I'm sorry. But that's not what this is. It's better this way. No strings. <clears throat> there are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. <laughs> Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... if you were... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Yeah, um... That's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. <laughs> right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. All right, guys. Uh, just a quick update. I mentioned this in the pre. I think it was the previous ups uh, video or the video before that one. But basically, um, the original like video the of this like I it didn't upload, possible. and I deleted Bruce the video thinking that it wasn't upload overnight. Out. And when I woke she up in the morning. The video was stuck, and then I was going to re-upload it, but then I realized I deleted the original video. That was a few weeks ago. Um, like, today, episode 4 did get released, um, so uh, I'm already slacking behind. But I replayed episode 3, I just so I can be, be able to record the ending. And also, um, quickly before I sign out here, because I'm just going to let the video play out. I'm not going to do commentary or this. I'll do the regular commentary on episode 4. But basically, what ended up happening is, I, like I said, I replayed episode 3, but for some reason, my choices didn't save, so Harvey doesn't isn't Two-Face, and Selena actually hates me, because for some reason, they made it the default option to save Harvey and tell Selena, which in my opinion, that's wrong, it should have been the other way around, because I knew... I mean, I guess if you look at it, the Dark Knight is an exception, you know, Batman saved Harvey instead of Rachel, but in a sense of Catwoman and uh, Harvey, I guarantee you 100% of the time, Batman would have saved Catwoman over Har uh, Harvey, um, but um, my choices got mixed up, so the, this ending is a bit different than how it was, and I think this might change my playthrough on episode 4 and 5. Um, so yeah, but anyways, that's gonna be it. Just a quick update. Um, oh, enjoy the ending. This should have been done a long time ago, but I, I goofed up. Um, it was my fault, you know. I shouldn't have delayed the video, but I thought it was an upload overnight, and yeah. Enjoy the rest of the episode, and then episode 4 will be coming out soon. Um, throughout this week. Um, so yeah. Till then, adios. At least she's got the essentials. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Sorry, 
Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... <sighs> so stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you. I don't care about you. No one does. I shouldn't have come. Harvey, I'm sorry. For what? We have nothing to be sorry for. I don't answer to him, and neither do you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. I believe Selina asked you to leave. Not that easy. Leaving. Harvey couldn't get me to do it either. I'm not going anywhere! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. They aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Oh, am I? Yes, you are. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. <sighs> How about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. <sighs> Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Not with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. 
He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. You're just gonna take off. Where will you go? I don't know. Not a lot of apartments in Gotham with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. <sighs> we won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. No, uh, I need to keep my composure, bide my time. If I start spilling secrets, I'll just look desperate. I guess you're the businessman. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've always How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Technology. Me. Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, oh dear. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm gonna expose you. 
Oh, knowing and proven are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Wayne, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how Old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. Buzz it yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out at a meeting I was not invited to attend. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you, but I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. My so-called replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a criminal, not a businessman. His entire history has been faked. <laughs> oh, very oh funny, Bruce. Oh, my God. No joke between friends. Security. Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> my apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone, I for one completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, he is the press hard. seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. It I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. Go. I just didn't think it'd be you. Not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. That's not. I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the form of beauty of Cobblepot. You feel that? Now it's That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You won't get away with this. I think I already have. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? <laughs>